Oh, welcome back to another advanced game maker studio tutorial and this time will be a fun one because I thought I saw an effect in uh, one of those YouTube videos which is called death battle where you have like two uh, things which are just fighting each other to the absolute end and I saw one of those animations and I thought like this is one of the things I really love so you, you can actually see that in lots of mangas where you have some really intense and fast action then in the background you see this well basically this effect swirling around this looks just so cool and i thought actually i can copy that let's do it with a particle system and here we are it is finished i've did it i don't know i copied it in let's say one hour or something and well i'm going to teach it to you now so this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i upload every day a video and share my stuff if you can so how is that actually working so it consists basically of two things first of all well i have my background which is this guy here I will show you in that in Photoshop very quickly how I did that because it's quite easy to do and then second of all I have a sprite which I center in the middle and this one is this thing which is just being like pumped from the right side to the left and bam 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 and they just stack up and this actually looks kind of neat so how can you actually do that in Photoshop quite easy first of all you just have like one dark color just go for blue then I create kind of a bluish uh, area so for example here I should uh, uh, let's do that fast so no yep so we go in here fill it up with one color the bluish dark blue one BAM then we make a fade out because this is the way it actually looks the best so something like this then copy another one then make two of them so as you can see bam bam and then make one lighter color in the background and here we go not the best version <laughs> but still very effective it looks good enough and then the second thing is a stripe like this so this is actually easy to copy as well so we just go for so this is very very quickly and very very dirty but still it looks pretty decent because well ain't nobody got time for that so uh no, no no let's make it white fill it up put it through a gaussian blur because why not uh bam as you can see this looks definitely uh, very nice for example if you're moving things very fast then it is a common technique that those things well are being blurred for example if you do that with a sharp uh, image then it looks kind of um, not pleasant to the eye because if you have fast movement then it's definitely if it's blurry and that's for that's why we're having the background here and this thing this blob this blurry thing and then they work in unison so first of all let's go into the particle system not too difficult in my opinion so first of all you create the particle uh, system then the particle itself if you don't know how particle systems are set up link in the description below because i'm just gonna go fast over this because this is an advanced tutorial then i say hey take the sprite which i have then zero zero because we don't want to animate no stretching no random bam then the size and here i want it to be uh well between 0 0.1 and 2 so we have some well different kind of versions of it and then the scale because i want it to be on the x scale the same so we we are not changing anything here but i wanted to thin out because this is still a little bit too fat and it doesn't look too good in um but well, i tried it didn't look too good and therefore i just reduced it to a smaller so a little uh, squished version and then the direction 180 so that means it can just go to the left side then speed i don't know between 5 and 10 of course if you want it to be even more intense then you put in more speeds then blend this is quite crucial here a blending is very important because if they are clustering in the middle then they definitely look better and then in the alpha of 10 percent so 0 0.1 
and give it a short life of one second because it just flies by and bye bye. So you don't need it. And this is basically the whole particle system, easy peasy. And what we do, we just have one action element. And here we gonna well, do this. And for example, what I did, because I wanted to cluster, this is of course by no means you don't have to do that, but I, I, th I thought I needed to be more in the middle and the further you go out, the less you want to have on the outside borders. And therefore I do some clustering. So I just say choose between one, one. And then as you can see, this is just weighted. That means uh, one and two and three rep represent something because what I do, I just say, hey, what kind of cluster am I having? And then depending if I'm one or two, then I'm closer, nearer, more distant or well, the whole height of the whole um, screen or the whole camera which I'm using. And then I just create this particle, a little bit difficult to read, so let's zoom in here. What I just do for the X, I just say, hey, take the display width of my camera. Um, this uh, thing I set up here, just one second. And then I say center the position and center is, uh, no, 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 and center is this position. So it's the display height through divided by two. So we are in the middle position and then plus center and center is that thing which I'm just saying, hey, cluster it up. And then depending what kind of uh, cluster we're having, we are having a different spread from the center position. So here, close, near, distant and height. And then of course, I just create the particle I wanted and I just create one. And then this is like 60 times per second. So this is quite a lot just go into the other variables. So I just take the display width and height from my camera. It's actually not the display, it's the camera. I just call it display, so don't be confused by here. Then center is another variable, so I just make it convenient for me. So it's not every time I'm making the calculation. Then center is basically in the middle position on the Y scale. And then I say, hey, the close spread is basically my display width if you're very close. So I'm just, um, having one fifth plus and minus from the center position and then nearer one fourth and then everywhere half. Why half? Because well, we are already halfway in and therefore well, we just take half. And so you have a nice percentage way and this will work for every um, well setup because it doesn't really matter because this is a percentage value. And here we just created those things. For example, once we started, come on, come on, come on. As you can see, it already looks good. For example, here we have more clustering in the middle and a little bit to the side. And as you can see, they are still blurry, but it definitely looks good because they are moving quite fast. And therefore, as you can see, because they do adaptive blending, then in the middle, they just look definitely better. And of course, this thing is a little bit lighter. But if you want to have this kind of beam in the middle, well, I did a quick fix for that. It's definitely not the most effective way to do that. So I just took the same well, image. So basically this guy I took again. So this blurry stripe and then I just uh, put it into the absolute middle center of the camera. Then I well stretch it quite a bit because it's still it's already quite big, but I stretch it by five times. And then I give it uh, the well, where are you? The no, that's not what I wanted. Um, then I well make it a little bit well fatter by just creating the um, the image uh, Y scale and just I don't know go between two very close values. For example, if I wouldn't be doing that, let's say for example one and six, then you would see quite a big fluctuation and it doesn't look too good in my opinion. As you can see now it's flickering. This is nothing you want because this is definitely annoying for the eye and therefore go for very close values. And for example, once we started, I just draw it and well, as you can see, bam, we have our result quite easy to achieve. Easy peasy. Um, then maybe you want to make some additive blending. So set the blend mode, add, and then reset it to normal. And bam, this is what you get in the end. So hopefully that was of interest to you. Um, very fast guide in my opinion, but still cool effect in the end. 
Have a good one. One up in the